from humble beginnings to learning from your failures to becoming a great success. What is your success story? Chip Baker, The Success Chronicles. <laughs> What's your definition of success? Chronicles, and we have my man, uh, Reverend Terrence Price, with us today. Uh, Amen, like Come on, somebody. <laughs> hey, say a word. Say a word. What's up, Chip? <laughs> What's going on? Well, we're gonna we're gonna get it started. Jump right into the questions. Uh, if you can just kind of, uh, if you don't mind telling the story, you know how we met or how we know one another. Wow, man. Uh, let me see. It goes back to. Pretty much, uh, if not this time last year, maybe September of last year, I, I came to, you know, introduce myself to you, let you know I was an FCA uh, mm-hmm. guy in the area, and, you know, uh, we actually connected by Coach Will Compton at Rudder, man. Right. And Coach Compton, real good, good guy. You, man. And, yeah, man, he told me a lot of great things about you, and I was like, wow, man, and, you know, first time, you know, when I met you, dude, man, it just felt like, you know, our spirit just clicked. It almost yeah. felt like, you know, we were like long lost cousins or brothers, man, and from there, you know... We just developed a, a friendship, a bond, right? Uh, almost like you say, like like a brotherhood that can't be broken, man. It's no like, doubt. It's like, man, you know, every time we chop it up and we talk, man, it's just like it's always a blessing. I feel re-energized, man. You know, so I don't feel drained. You know, sometimes you talk to people, you get off the phone, you're like, "Whoa, Lord, I feel drained." <laughs> but man, after I get a phone with you, man, I'm, I feel refueled and rejuvenated, man. Ready to go, huh? And then, and then after that, you know, we saw each other at church at Sky Break. And, right, we went know, to the same we, church. We stayed in contact with each other, you know, lifting each other up, you know, uh, from day to day and, and just letting each other know, hey, man, I got your back no matter what. So, No doubt about that. And, uh, yes, sir. It's, you know, we talk about this a lot, you know, as far as, you know, Pastor Nanny's uh, quote, you know, as far as, you know, life moves at the speed of relationships. Man. And, uh, you know, I really I really think that you know, having the quality relationship in your life, like a person with you, like you, you know, it really helps. Just like you said, I feel the same exact way. So I look yes. forward to talking with you every time or hanging out with you, and, like, we always, man, I'm going to go, but then it's a little longer, but, man, we need to go. Always, yeah. Yeah, but it's always a little longer, so it's always right. good to have, some, you know, a person like that in your life. If you could yes, just sir. kind of tell us uh, your life story. Wow, man, uh, born and raised in uh, Somerville, Texas, well, not actually Somerville, went to school in Somerville, uh-huh. uh, born and raised in Centerline, Texas, which is a small community between Snook and Lyons, uh, grew up with a... Uh, being raised, in a, you know, by my mom and my grandmother, man, and uh, my mom and my grandmother were strong Christian women in the faith, and they instilled in me, man, when I came out the womb, basically what they told me was that, you know, that, uh, you know, no matter what, man, if you're going to make it in this life, man, you got to have Jesus Christ and keep in your life, and, you know, from then on, man, I've, I've always been one of those kids who always, you know, went to church, got made fun of sometimes in life because they always called me a church boy because we went to Sunday school, morning worship, yeah. drink life. BTU, hey. 6 o'clock service. Hey, if the church was open, you was in there. Oh, man, dude, if the church was open, man, with funerals, wedding, you name it, bro. Uh, you know, then, you know, graduated from the high school, attended Blinn College. Uh-huh. I went on to College of Biblical Studies and, and uh, ended up going to Jarvis Christian College in Hawkins, Texas. Uh, you know, I've always been involved in ministry in my whole life, come from a, a lineage of uh, preachers and pastors and ministers. Right. Uh, so I was youth pastor for seven years. Uh, in Brenham, Texas, and in Houston, Texas, and uh, I became a senior pastor at my home church, St. James Christian Church. Uh, let me see, in 2012, served there faithfully for three years, then God started shifting some gears, wanted to enlarge my territory. I guess he saw fit that he could trust me with, with a little bit more. You know, the scripture says you be faithful 
you going to make you rule over many. Right. And so then a position came open with FCA, Fellowship of Christian Athletes. Uh, it was always it was always a dream of mine to give back into the community, to give back to the communities and to the schools. And I was that kid in school, Chip, that, uh, you know, I was always looking forward to somebody come to talk to us because, you know, we was a small town. School right. That, we got overlooked and we got labeled and stuff. And I was wanting somebody to come. I always look forward to the motivational speakers or like the current collegiate athletes who were doing things the right way and to come talk to us. And man, I always prayed that, man, I'm like, Lord, if you ever allow me to be in a position like that, to be, to be a blessing to other people, man, you know, you know, let your will be done. And, right. and, you know, man, I enjoy, I love, I love being a pastor. Senior pastor. And I, I miss it still to this day. Hey, but God knows what he's doing, man. He's in control. And so for the past year and two months, I've served faithfully uh, right now with the Fellowship of Brass Valley, Fellowship of Christian Athletes, as an area representative over five counties and also serve uh, Texas A&M track team. And now I'm sitting here talking to you, Chip. <laughs> well, that's good, man. Uh, so you talked about your career, you know, so far as, you know, currently, you know, you're, you're working with FCA and you talked about yes. the area that you're over and, I think that that's awesome that you get to touch so many lives like that. Wow. You know, it's just a, it's just a blessing, you know, to be able to do something like that. Man, dude, you I mean, it, it bless, I, I put it like this, Jim. I'm blessed to be a blessing, man. You know, no doubt. When it, it's, it's so funny, man, because my, you know, my territory is, is, is big and it has grown. And, and, you know, man, to know that, you know, when you don't have a chance, opportunity to get around, you know, certain schools, man, the coaches, when you do finally pop out of school, they're like, hey, man, Missed you, man. You know, we would love to have you around more often, but right. we understand, we know that you're involved with other schools. And that just lets me know, man, that, hey, it's not about me, but it's that, you know, man, the Lord is working through me to allow my light to shine in places, man, that, you know, people never thought might be able to touch or, or be able to go. But God has, uh, has blessed the ministry of SCA as a, as a great essential tool to get into the schools and uh, to get into the hearts of the coach and athletes, not just only them, but the whole student body administration. Love to let them know, hey man, we're not here to take over anything, but we're here to come alongside yeah. us, to serve you guys, mm -hmm. and, to, and to remind you and let you know that God has given you this great platform, man. Not about you, but to bring glory to His name. There it is, right there. What are what are three things uh, you have accomplished in your life that you are proud of? Wow, I, I'll put it to you like this, bro. Uh, the first thing was when I gave my life to the Lord, when I made Jesus Christ the Lord to save my life. Mm -hmm. Second was when I when I married my beautiful wife, man. Uh, mm -hmm. She's well, she's she's my dream girl, man. You know how you you know you go to, you pull up to the drive through window and say, <laughs> for example, you're at McDonald's, you want a Big Mac, but you want you want to customize it. So you know I love to know, hey man, you know keep the special sauce. Let me get a few <laughs> let me get a few extra pickles. Throw a little more of onions on that man. Super size of fries and give me a large high C orange easy on the ice. You know how to do hey, Sonic, man. The hey, orange. Give me a large. You know, give me a rock 44, <laughs> share a lot of easy on the ice. And so, and the third thing, uh, which I, I, if I can say, if I can tie in two things with the third thing was the day, man, that our son was born, man, uh, September 13th, 2016, man, 9, 13 p.m., man. And you remember, Chip, man, I right. hit you up, man, dude. I remember you always tell me, dude, that would be a life changer, man. And no then the, the second, I guess you can say the B part of my number three goal was when I stepped out on faith, when I stepped aside uh, from the church and stepped out on faith, dude, uh, and took this job with FCA, man, to remind you, man, let me just share this with somebody real quick, dude. I stepped out on faith, man. I actually didn't have the job yet. I stepped out on faith. I wasn't getting any kind of source of income for five months. Right. Five months. Hear me, y'all. Five months. But I trusted God, man. I got to the edge of that cliff and God's like, nah. I didn't bring you this far, man, for you just to be average or for you to be common. He said, man, I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to push you off this thing and chip. It's one of the greatest things that ever happened to me in my life. I could have done in my life. Right. That's awesome. You know, and, uh, going back to your wife, you know, she's a, uh, uh, worship leader. You know, she's been worship leader and very Ooh, talented. Lord. <laughs> and very talented. She, she tell me, she tell me I ain't got the gift of singing, but I, I tell her I can. I can do a little something. something. <laughs> you, you, you can home a little bit, huh? Oh yeah, I can like them old, like them old church mother. Mm. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> and but but I'm telling you, she can sing. You know, sing oh, with an A, like God, not with God, not with an I, not S I N G S A. I know, and she can sing. Yes, man. And God is very really blessed. And anointed her, man. And, no and, doubt. And that's one of the things, man. When I met my wife, I was the guest speaker at her dad's church. 
in Waco for the pastor's anniversary service, and my wife got up to sing. Uh, she was a special uh, singer. She was a special song. Uh, well, I forgot the selection, whatever it was on the program. She sung Take Me to the King oh, by Tamil wow. Man, and then then she went into her worship song by, and finished up the song by the old school hymn entitled I Surrender All. Oh, bro, let me tell you something, bro. I was sitting in that chair. I had to get up and walk outside, dude. I broke out in the cold sweat, forgot my whole sermon. I had to go outside and pray, dog. <laughs> That's good stuff right there. Hey, you know how they say she, they usher you into the present look, boy. She, she ushered me into her heart, boy. That's good stuff. That's awesome right there. Uh, well, the next question, What what is your definition of success? Dude, my definition of my definition of success is um, doing things that are uncommon um, and stepping out on faith. There it is, doing things that are uncommon and stepping out on faith. That's a good one. Hey, if you don't mind me, can I elaborate on, elaborate on that real no, quick? No, please do. Because the thing about it is, you know, and, <laughs> and, I, and I, I'll relate to the Bible because that's just my flow, man. The Bible says that you know we are peculiar people. Uh, you know, we, in other words, we're supposed to we're supposed to stick out. You know, like like a sore thumb. Right. I always said like this. You know, uh, we weren't built to be made average or to blend in. God didn't design us to be like camouflage to blend in. Right. He, he created us in His likeness and His image, man, to stand out because He He designed us uniquely, man. He picked different gifts and talents in us, man, and so we are uncommon people, and that's why I use that word for success because you know. Man, if you're gonna be successful in life, man, you've got to be uncommon. You got to be different. Right. I mean, I mean, it, just, just think about it, man. Think about it, if the world, if we were all the same, if I had the same personality like you, Evan had the same personality like you, right. Pastor Danny, Mikado, whoever, my wife had the same personality. Right. The world would just, you know, it it, it wouldn't really, and, and not, no disrespect against you, Chip, but I mean, the world would just be the same. But right. you know, God, God you know, you yeah, know, I don't, I don't know if we want a world full of chips. Hey. Man, I don't <laughs> Hey, man, is a man. But you, and, you know, if, if you're gonna be successful in life, man, right. you gotta be uncommon. I mean, you gotta dare to be different. No you gotta doubt. Do, you gotta. I mean, it's it's like no different than like Chip. Our families, man. Like you right. know, some of us are the first one to graduate from college in our family. Exactly. So or to to own our own home, to own right. a, own a brand new vehicle, man. And, and and it it didn't take being average or being so called common. It right. took us being uncommon, stepping on faith. Trusting and believing that, okay, God, you know, man, I might not have the right credit score, man, I might not have the whole down payment, but God, I'm going to step out on faith right. because you said, I'm uncommon, man, and, and I'm believing that, man, I'm going to be able to get this. And Chip, if we would have never stepped out on faith and being uncommon, we, we, I mean, truth of the matter, it's like we, we wouldn't have all the blessings that we're experiencing right now, bro. Right. I, I truly believe that, <laughs> you know, in uh, Tony Dungy's, one of Tony Dungy's books, and I, you know, I read all his books and good follow him because he's a really good Christian man to, to look up to. Uh, right. He, he has a, like his definition, part of a definition of sex, it says, you know, it's doing the, the common things in an uncommon way. You know? And so. Come on, Tony. <laughs> hey, preach. Tony, Tony put his weight on that, man. Yes. And, and so. you talking about Tony the Tiger. <laughs> raw. <laughs> right. <laughs> no, it's just, you know, just doing the common things. In an uncommon way, you know, you know, with the, Come on, man. you know, with, with, you know, with following Christ and letting Him use you in the right way, and that's a your perfect testimony of that. You know, you talked about that with man. your story as well. So, dude, you, I mean, you've got to, you've got to come out, come out your comfort zone, man. Right. I mean, if, if you look at some of the greatest and like what we talk about, chip successful people, do right. Some of the greatest things that ever been accomplished in life has come by people oh, getting out their comfort zone, you got man. To. Not, you not got being comfortable. And chip, let me say this, Pastor Danny. Uh, Pastor Danny Green of Skybreak Church in College Station, Texas. I'm just throwing him a punchline for you, there you Pastor go. Danny. There you go. Uh, 915, 1115 service. He always says this, and man, he's the first time I heard him say this, dude, it blew the socks off my coins. <laughs> Pastor Danny Green said, he said, show me your friends, and I'll show you your future. That's it. That's true. Bro, when he said that, bro, he had me going through my phone like, okay, do I, God, do I need to delete this person? Right. Do I need to move this person out of my circle and just make them associate because Chip... A lot of times, man, you know, man, we think that people are really for us, man. But I mean, in, in the in the back of our mind, and God knows everything. He sees all things. I mean, He's omniscient. He's omnipresent. He knows everything. God knows that that right. person means us no good. Exactly. And it's no different, man. When you was growing up, you 
You know how it was when you bring friends or you bring a little girlfriend over to your mom's house, and first thing, if your mom wants to feel it, first she said, uh uh-uh, uh, mm mm. You know, you know how the old Saints were, man, they were like, mm mm, uh uh, uh uh. Baby? And baby, yeah. <laughs> And you know, or, or either they say, well, who are your people? <laughs> yeah, that's it, that's it. Because they, they loved and cared for you so much, man, that they didn't want to see you get hurt, man. Who are you? You know what I'm saying? So, that's good. man, I, I, I always, I always think about that, man, dude. Show me your. Friends, and I show you a future, and like Chip, I'm not trying to say that we're better than anybody, no. or that yeah. you know, man, or or that you know we're supposed to be more stuck up and nothing like that. It, it's not that, man. But you, I've learned, man, if you're gonna go somewhere in life and be successful, you gotta have the right people surrounded. Sur- uh, uh, you have to have the right people surround uh, surround them. You have to surround yourself with the right people. Excuse me, because Chip, if you don't do it, I, I live in witness. It's very crucial, dude. If, if you can have one person in the room, I, I picture like this. You can have a person who's a motivator, man, and and and, and they and they're supposed to, their spot is supposed to be a motivator, and mm-hmm. I mean their calling is to be a motivator. But and you can have them in the spot of like helping you with your finances, and they might not be strong like that in their finances. Right. And so, and, and I'm not trying to say like they're not supposed to, they're not meant to be in your life. But we just need to be careful what we place certain people at in our life. And the scripture says in Psalm, it says that we need to we need to learn to guard our heart, man, because you can't allow everybody in your space, man. Right. I, because, I, I truly believe that the environment plays a plays a key factor. You know, just like you said, you know, my mom's the same way. You know, watch your friends, make sure you're around the right people. You know, all of that stuff, and you know yeah. that that never stops. You know, yeah. as a kid, as a, as a young adult, you know, as a grown man with a family, you know, you have to you have to you know watch your environment, put yourself in a positive environment, so that way positive things will happen for you. I, I totally man, agree with that. Most definitely, bro. I mean, it and do. <laughs> It, it, it and and that's the only way I believe that it's going to happen, man. Is when you surround yourself with the right people. Chip, like, man, you know, man, there were times, man, I would reach out to you, man, not right. to go into detail because that's between me, you, and the Lord, man. I would reach out to you because I'm like, man, Chip, you know, man, I'm just kind of, you know, stressing about these things or right. a few things, and man, and the, and the first thing, man, you said was like, man, you said, you, you said, uh, man, you know, I'm gonna I'm pray for you, man. You said, man, man, dude, you you have what it takes. You weren't trying to be like, oh, man, well, you know what, well, what's going on? I mean, right. you know. Dude, that touched my heart because a lot of time, man, you know, people are looking for a place of refuge or a a, uh, a place of serenity and peace, man. And right. and nine times out of ten, man, they don't want you to automatically jump in their business, man. They just want you to know, hey, man, I'm going are, through are this. you there for me, man? Right? Do, do you got my back? Can can you walk? Can you walk this journey with me, man? And, no doubt. and Chip, I just thank God for people like you, man, and uh, you know, as long as as well as my mentors, man, who have right. been there. To walk this journey with me, man. To let me know, hey, bro, hey, man, look, dude. If you fall, dude, get back up, dude. If if you hit a pothole in life, dude, get up, man. No doubt. Uh, br- brush your ashy knees off. Get up. <laughs> get some lotion. Let's on, get you man. some lotion. Hey, Let's hey, keep man. moving. Hey, God still has a plan, man. It's it's not the end of life. It's not the end. Of, it's not the end of your, your future, man. Hey, man, God still has a plan, man. And, no doubt. And, 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 and bro, it's it's so important, man, because. Dude, if you're around negative people all the time, man, eventually, man, the same spirit that's in them is going, it's going, it's going to easily fall on you, man. No doubt. What do you, what do you think it takes to achieve success? Woo! What it takes to achieve success? First of all, man, you got to have God in your life, man. Exactly. You got to have God in your life, man. And and and, and most and second of all, I, I will say, man, that you've got to know. Whatever, whatever you're trying to accomplish, man. I always tell, I always tell the kids, you know, like this. Whenever a coach asks me to come in and speak, I tell them, like, man, do study your craft. Right. You know, learn, learn the history of it, man. You know, because a lot of times kids, are like, oh, well, I want to go to the league. Well, why do you want to go to the league? You need to be a research on the league, man, and, and right. find out, man. Because a lot of times, Chip, we see this in college basketball, man. These kids go to school one year, man. And, you know, and thinking that, you know, they're going to ball out in the NBA and, and say if they don't make the team, they get cut go to the D-League or if they go to overseas and they get cut right. from that, they have nothing to fall back on, man. Exactly. So, man, you and, and that leads me to my, my next point is that you got to be educated, man. Educate yourself, man. Well, that's awesome. Well, thank you so much for giving us your time on the Success Chronicles today. Hey, hey, Chip, as Chick-fil-A says, when they give you that Chick-fil-A sauce in that bag, and they good old Coca Cola Coca Zero. My pleasure. Hey, that's good, man. I got you with that one. <laughs> My pleasure. My pleasure. Well, hey, the pleasure is all mine. Well, good deal. Thanks again, and we'll see you next time on the Success Chronicles. God bless. God bless.